<laughs> Everybody is this and the rough it. <laughs> it's November 15, 2011, and I'm watching uh, Hardball with Chris Matthew, and he's going to do more of an extended version of the viral video, or video that became viral, with Herman Cain, and he just could not remember or can't think of a question. But Chris Matthew is going to do more of an extended of all the questions, and, <laughs> and Herman Cain did not have that bottle of water and his jacket as he got ants in his pants. But this thing is, this thing is funny. It's <laughs> oh, I feel so sorry for that bottle of water. Let's actually count how many times he keep moving that bottle of water. <laughs> oh, God. And indifference to experience. We start with Herman Cain. Michael Steele is a former chair of the Republican National Committee. He's now an MSNBC political analyst. And Dana Milbank is a columnist for the Washington Post. Gentlemen, let's go straight to the tape, as Howard used to say. Here, here's Herman Cain yesterday answering a question from the editorial board of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel about Libya. Let's watch and listen. So you agree with President Obama on Libya or not? Okay, Libya... Watch the bottle of water. One. President Obama supported the uprising. Correct. President Obama called for the removal of Gaddafi. Just want to make sure we're talking about the same thing before I say yes, I agreed. I, I know I didn't agree. Um, the blinking of the eyes. Um, no, that's that's a different one. Um, <laughs> Blink it up the eyes. See, uh, got all this stuff twirling around in my head. I would have done a better job of determining who the opposition is. And I'm sure that our intelligence people had that had some of that information. Based upon who made up that opposition, okay, based on who made up that opposition, um, might have keep looking at the water. Make some different decisions about how we participated. What do you make of that, Michael Steele? That performance by the candidate who's now leading in some of the polls for the Republican presidential nomination. Honestly, painful. Uh, it's very difficult to watch. It's very difficult uh, because you know, and everyone has acknowledged that the, this is a very, very weak spot for for Herman Cain. And um, I think that at this level, and at, certainly at this point in the campaign, you've got to get this stuff where it's second nature. Um, it's it's not the same as what Perry uh, went through the other night, where you're going through a check and you just blank. Uh, this is clearly trying to pull the card that has the points, yeah. uh, and, and that's just not how uh, you, you go about speaking about foreign policy because it is such a fluid area of our of our uh, life in this country and in this world. And. You've got to be on top of it. So I think it was a very painful moment to watch. Uh, there's a lot, you know, that it can be made of it uh, from for the negative. But I think that uh, the, the bottom line is folks are looking at that and going, okay, that 3 o'clock call in the morning, uh, you know, and, and that's not a spot you want to be in that we, when the vote starts in six weeks. Now let's go to Dana because I I not I usually don't go out at first it's not about brains, the guy's a smart guy, it's about preparation. Yeah, and I want to go to Dana on this and that's clearly that it's not about background. It's really about curiosity. He obviously hasn't been reading the papers for the last X many months about Libya. Just it's in the papers. It's not like you had to go deep into the foreign section. It sits there. A lack of curiosity about one of the things you should be curious about if you want to be president of the United States. I think that's a value judgment. What's yours? 
Uh, yeah, I would say so, Chris. I mean, this is different from him not knowing what a neoconservative is. Okay, that struck a lot of us as odd who had been participating in the political debate over the last decade. Sort of impossible uh, to miss uh, Libya altogether, yet he seemed to have done that. And if anything, um, I think playing that brief part of the clip is friendly to Herman Cain because this goes on not for 53 seconds like Rick Perry. It goes on for five minutes like what this. Did you mean, what made you think I'd stop there? Let's go to the rest of it. Uh, <laughs> generosity is not the name of this show. It's not. <laughs> uh, success magazine here. It's called Hardball. Cain struggled to explain his thought process on Libya for over five minutes, as Dana Milbank helped us with. Let's watch some more of what he wants us to see. Dana, here it is, buddy. Here come the water. So want to say, well, as president, you're supposed to know everything. No, you don't. I believe in having all of the information, as much of it as I possibly can, rather than making a decision or making a statement about three. When I wasn't privy to the entire situation. So I'm not clear then. What was the parts that you're criticizing the president for of how he handled it? Okay. Four. The opposition that wanted to overthrow Gaddafi. Who are they? How organized are they? How strong are they? Uh, who would be the parent leader now that they have succeeded? Did they have a plan for how they were going to govern? Or are you going to end up now? Five. This is what I mean by so, But if they didn't have that, and then when you back off and not and gotten involved, to see it, 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 would, it, it would depend upon which part they didn't have. This is what I'm saying is it's not a clear yes, no answer because all of those things I think should have been assessed. That, that's what I'm saying. Michael, I think you got it. <laughs> Excuse me, I think you've got it here. It's not that he doesn't have a lot of pieces of the question. He has a lot of the elements of what anybody in the presidency would have to ask. He gets to it, but no cogency, no compelling right. coherence, no, I've got it together. I've thought this through a little, but I think I know where I'm going. It's yeah, like he had never thought of it until that guy asked the question. Well, that's